and he will be discussing Akan Asia uh, during this um, this webinar. He's also helping Thames International School, which I'm also a part of, with their e-learning migration and digital transformation. So um, before we begin, for our attendance purposes and for our um, uh, certificate of attendance, can you guys please rename rename your um, Zoom names so that you put your school name in front of your names? Para lang madali for us to ano to record. So if you see the screen right now. Um, you should be able to, if you see your name in the participants window, you should be able to rename yourself and put uh, your school in front of your name. So here in the screen on the right side, there's a little, little uh, instruction box there. And then we are also trying out to stream this webinar live on Facebook. Um, and sa Facebook, this will also be recorded. So if you miss any part of this webinar, you can go to our Facebook page, Brilliant Creations Publishing. We will also entertain uh, questions later. So you can use the chat function to list down your questions and we'll try to answer them. Okay, so I'll just flash Roy's profile here for a little bit and then I'm going to turn it over to, to Roy. Roy, are you there? Okay, I think uh, I got it. Yes, I can. I can talk now. <laughs> okay, I'll stop my screen now. Okay. Okay. So, uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, teachers, and uh, friends of uh, BCI. My name is uh, Roy Platon, and I, you're going to be. I'm going to be your speaker this afternoon. Magandang hapon po sa lahat. Okay, so uh, nakikita ko po yung mga mukha niyo sa meeting. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Ayan, kung uh, first time niyo mag-Zoom, exciting ito kasi five pages worth of uh, participants tayo ngayon. Scroll niyo left and right, makikita niyo na yung isa-isa. So welcome po sa webinar natin ngayong hapon. So what I'm gonna do is I want to share with you a little bit about myself. Uh, and what we do at Akadisha and how we can, we have actually one of uh, our school's themes and as well as we can help your schools in terms of redesigning your existing uh, classrooms and classroom lessons into digital and I'll go over that later. So, yeah, so sit back, relax and uh, if you have any questions, mamaya at the end of the discussion, we'll have a little chikahan, chatting, Q&A para pag-usapan natin yung represent ko ngayon. Okay? Sige. So, I will now start by sharing my screen with everyone. Um, Alan, I think uh, my share screen is disabled. Um, ah, sorry. Sorry. Lang. If you could just allow me to share my screen so that I can share the slides with, uh, with the audience. Okay. Uh, can you try okay, it Okay, so, yeah, I think I'm going to share. Okay, I guess you can see my screen now. Let me just go here. Let me just clear some of this stuff out of the way. Yeah, okay, and then I'm gonna share my slides now. Okay, so, Hopefully you can still see my face on the small thumbnail, uh, the right side of your screen. And uh, we'll start now with my presentation. Again, magandang hapon po. I am the country manager for Akadisha, but I also am the technology manager at Thames International Business School. 
just a little bit about myself. So I have uh, diverse experience in all sorts of technology-related fields. I've been in the industry for about 20, 25 years. So uh, mostly on the digital side of things, e-commerce, multimedia, and mobile. But in the past two to three years, I've really immersed myself in education. Uh, and I've uh, come to understand a lot of uh, thoughts and uh, best practices, especially from our um, from our uh, yes, uh, Alan. Maybe you can disable annotations because <laughs> we annotations style here, uh, if that's possible. And that happens a lot, especially some meeting. So when next start in a meeting, they must disable the annotations. And then. Um, Uh, so in my uh, in my career, so recently the past two or three years, we've talked about the uh, the actually Akin Asia is a Singapore-based company with uh, Filipino uh, roots in terms of technology, and I'll share a little bit more about that later. So let's see if I can. Uh, Just adjust here. One second. All right. So hopefully, we'll have time annotations for, for this meeting. Uh, okay. All right. So this is our agenda for today. So basically, we'll be talking about um, how you differentiate classroom versus online learning, and there are several steps that we go through it. And then at the end of the presentation, I'll kind of show you quickly how we can actually present. Uh, Uh, and create a live online class, you know, so I'll do a quick demo para makita nyo na it's actually not that difficult, but we need some additional skills and um, learning so that we can actually put our classrooms from a uh, normal setting na magawa siya online. So first, we'll talk about the ingredients, the key components. We'll prepare those ingredients para tayong nagluluto ng class, okay? So, ano yung mga sangkap? Tapos i-prepare natin yung mga sangkap, lulutuin natin sila, the tools, and then hahain na tayo by engaging the students in a very interesting online class. So yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. So next slide. So I just want to ask, you know, the audience, and I guess I'm gonna just try to guess, you know. So may mga dalawang tanong tayong iniisip, no? So before COVID-19, did you ever consider teaching an online class at any point? Okay, so maybe you can see a show of hands. Sino bang nag -isip? And then, have you ever taught, taught an online class before? Because I think uh, it's important that we do this. Yeah, so I think Cicel raised her hand, yes. So some of us have actually attempted to um, have attempted to actually Uh, do online classes but have not been able to or let's say may mga concerns let's say walang connectivity mga bata it's hard to connect and all of those things so at the, while it's a challenge because we're not a you know we're, we're back at Asia we're not addressing the connectivity or device issues pero kasama po yan so we just have to go with go with the flow and try to see ano yung pinakamadaling paraan for the students to actually engage okay so now I'll go to my next slide So what are the ingredients? Ano? So when we look at classroom learning, traditionally, so ito yung mga sangkap kailangan sa isang normal classroom lesson. So obviously, teachers are very important. Kayo po yan. So teachers with your skill and knowledge and yung, uh, your expertise on the subject matter, kayo po ang nagbibigay ng guidance sa mga students on how they're going to actually learn the lesson. Okay? And obviously, next is the students. The students themselves, they come all, in all shapes and sizes. May mga masisipag, may mga kukulet. But all in all, you try to run your class and try to make sure that everybody is able to learn something for that day or for that class. Okay? So 
these ingredients are still essential and important in uh, classroom learning. Of course, the space. When we look at the space, inisip natin yung venue, yung normal classroom, the four walls, and the campus. Okay, that's usually the considerations. And then all the amenities and facilities in the class room. And of course, the tools. So sometimes you may have a projector or a blackboard or a whiteboard, and you uh, you have all these other tools that you actually use to teach the class. Okay, so that's classroom learning. But for online learning, it's a little bit different. The components are the same, but uh, you look at it in a different way. So the teachers are still important, okay? So maraming nagsasabi, hindi na natin kailangan ng teacher. You can already learn everything online. Well, in fact is, you can discover many th things, but the teacher is responsible for, uh, for helping the student understand how to apply that knowledge in whatever problem solving or real life situation. So importante pa rin kayong teachers kasi minsan, kahit masipag yung estudyante mag by himself or herself, tayo pa rin ang may experience na sabi sa kanya, so para saan yung natutunan mo? Saan mo gagamitin yan sa buhay? So ang teacher ang gabay, siya yung nag, uh, nag guide sa mga students on what they learn. The students are also important and we have to consider them because they're the ones who are um, we're teaching. Okay, So either... Probably their grade level is uh, grade school or elementary, whether high school, whether college. So we have to know who the students are. The space is a bit different because we're considering now, instead of the four walls of the classroom, we have to consider the device. So kung saan uh, in, uh, makikita ng sujante yung lesson nyo, and how will they access your lessons actually? So that is the new classroom, which is actually digital and online. And of course, the tools. Instead of, let's say, before, Blackboard or Whiteboard or Xbooks, now we have online. Okay, so it depends on the programs and software na gagamitin nyo sa class so that the students can access your lessons. Okay, so let's go on. Let's move on to the preparation. No? So, ito yung mga sangkap. So, ngayon, ihanda natin yung mga sangkap. So, given the context, what do I do now? In classroom, usually these are the four steps that you consider when you're creating your class. So, kunyari, uh, you have to imagine first, sino ba yung tinuturuan ko? So, if they are young, then my lesson plan should be accordingly like this. If they're already senior high school or college, then I can have more complex things. But you have to know the situation of your teachers, uh, of your students. Uh, and then after that, what am I teaching? So, depending on the subject matter, it will apply to um, different, uh, different topics. And to see whether, let's say, if it's just a general, let's say, knowledge topic like history or whatnot, or you need more interaction. So that's also important that you know how, uh, what items are you going to be teaching? What's the step-by-step -step syllabus or plan or topic for the week? And then third is obviously how will you teach it in the classroom? So you probably will say, okay, for this class, what I can do is I'll use the blackboard and write down notes. But maybe for next lesson, I'll give them an exercise to read ahead of time. And then when they read it, then that I'll ask them to report about it. Or I could also do, let's say, do a presentation or oral defense. So maraming uh, ways of how I will actually teach the class. Okay. So pwedeng, okay, my, my kids now, let my, teach, uh, my, my students, they'll have a game. And then in the game, that's how they'll learn the lesson. Pwede ganon. And lastly, how we will let them. So let's say you can have the usual, let's say, multiple choice, written test, quizzes, or exams. Um, and that's the normal classroom. When you go to online, you are also following the same steps, but you have to add one more step, okay? You're going through all the same processes, but you have un one more thing. So again, who am I teaching? Are they uh, more experienced students, more disciplined students, or they're very young? Their attention span is very short. Or let's say, after that, step two, what is my lesson topic? So for is it a four-week uh, lesson? Is it 15 weeks? And then I have to map out all my topics so that I can actually prepare all the lessons within those weeks. And then obviously, this is the third step. When before, nasanay tayo, nasama sayama tayo sa isang classroom at magkakaharap tayo, nakikita natin isa isa, now it's not the case. Okay? So... Feeling ko, even though uh, my modified ECQ tayo ngayon, it's still too dangerous to have students come together. Okay? Para sa safety ng lahat, it's still more advisable to explore other modalities or other ways of teaching. 
So how will my students access? And that is the third thing you have to think about. So if they um, have internet, then great. They can use an online platform. They can view your lessons online. Pero paano kung wala silang connectivity, wala silang device? So some schools, what they've done is mixed environment. So yung mga estudyante na merong uh, internet access, pwedeng ma-access yung lesson online. Yung iba, may pinapadalan sila ng let's say flash drive or, or, or actual textbook na pinapadala sa bahay nila. Okay, so some modes may ganun. So it really will depend on what the capabilities are of your school and your students and then let's say the, the barangay or LGU where your students are mostly located. Okay, so it's a combination of things. And then given that, how do you actually deploy the lesson in that mixed environment? So, kailangan natin isipin, how will they access? And of course, step four is how will I teach? So, dati, inisip natin, okay, may blackboard ako, magsusulat ako, okay, that's fine. Now, it's different. Kanina, nag-annotate tayo sa umpisa. So, I guess some of you are familiar with this process. So, you can actually let your students do the annotating. So, that's one way. So, let's say, may lesson ako, oh, sige, um, uh, uh, Juan or, or Maria, ano ang sagot dito sa pag knowing mo to? So you write the answer on the screen. So pwedeng ganon. So you can actually use a lot of online interactive tools para makapag-engage sila with you. And then lastly, of course, is how you assess. So assessment, you can still have the uh, usual door falls, multiple choice, may mga online tools to do that. I also do not encourage you guys to do proctored exams na live. Medyo mahirap gawin yun na babantayan nyo silang lahat sa screen. So, uh, I think that is not uh, advisable. No? So, but try to explore other ways to assess. You can also use other ways of assessing in terms of, let's say, submissions ng mga, let's say, videos and actual um, files. So, there are other ways for you to get the students to achieve the learning outcome, not necessarily puro written test. Kasi nga, ang mga bata ngayon, may ikli yung attention span, medyo tinatamad ng magbasa, multimedia na silang lahat. So, how do I design my assessments as a teacher to actually um, into something that the students can interact with? Okay? So now, napaghanda natin yung sangkap, now let's cook. Let's try to actually create the lesson. So obviously, in the classroom learning setting, these are the things that we need to actually cook the meal, okay? So we have books, so that is your resource. And then you have, let's say, you can present it on a blackboard or whiteboard, as you said. And maybe in some classrooms that you have, meron ako yung computer or laptop, but it's still within the four walls of the class. And then you have a projector screen, and then you actually show the lesson as it's ongoing within the classroom. So this is what you're actually doing and presenting the course, okay, uh, when you prepared it. So online learning naman, uh, the, the venue of instruction is not anymore in the classroom face-to-face. -face. Hindi na po siya ganon. The venue for uh, instruction is now the device. Okay, so whether that's a computer or a mobile phone, you have this device. And that is where um, most of the learning will have to happen in terms of engaging. So when you're designing your classes, you have to keep it in mind. So you could have ebooks or online resources, PDFs na babasahin ng mga estudyante. Sa communication, buti sana kung nag-uusap tayo ng ganito, hindi na. Uh, in, in meaning in the, in the classroom. But now, like we're doing in Zoom, we can do online uh, live video. We can also do live chat, okay? And then they can interact that way or email. And then you integrate, let's say, any video lessons. You can do certifications, talagang pumasa siya, and you can conduct online assessments. So all of it is now within that device, okay? So now, this is how we've actually crafted our online lesson, okay? So now what we're going to do is let's eat, okay? So ang gagawin natin is we're actually going to do a live demonstration of how we actually will create a simple online class. And the platform that we use at Academia, that James is also using, is Freeju. And I will demonstrate that to you now. Yeah, we still have some time. Hindi pa naman ako overtime. So I'm going to share my screen. Oh, I think you guys weren't uh, seeing the seeing the slides a while ago. Let me just go back to it. 
Salita ako ng salita dito. Hindi nyo nakikita yung slides ko. Okay, before I just move forward, ano? So that everybody sees it. So this is what I was talking about. Ano? Teachers, the tools, and these are the steps. How will my students access the lesson? And then ito, uh, let me just move this. Let me just move this screen. Just full screen it. I will share this in full screen. Yeah, okay. So this is what I was talking about. Pasensya na kung hindi niyo nakikita ito kanina. Okay, so these are the tools. And then, obviously, we have to integrate all of these tools into this online platform. Ano? So, we have the ebooks, communication tool like this, certifications, video, and then assessments. Okay, so now we'll try to actually make a real online class. So, I'll show this to you now. So, this is a sample of the FreeJU platform. Okay. So if we were to actually create a live class for your students, this is how it would look like. So ito yung una nila makikita. And let's say we go to courses. So these are samples of the courses that the students will actually see. So how are you going to actually make these things? So let's say if I click on the course, let's choose a course here. Uh, fundamentals. And uh, mental, so photog digital photography. Let's say this is the, the lesson that we have. So if we click here, so this is something uh, like a lesson that the student would actually see. Okay, so they can view the course, course objectives, etc. etc. So because I'm already enrolled in this course, I can see it. But um, this is what the student will see from the teacher's point of view. Ang titigan natin ngayon is the back end. So the back end looks something like this. Welcome to studio. You will sign up or sign in here and you will see a dashboard which is where ito na kita natin kanina, fundamentals of digital photography. This is the course that we actually can create. So how do we create this into something like this? So I'll show you now. So if we click here. So we have our basic course outline. So this is basically the para huwag tayong gumagawa ng let's say Facebook post or Viber chat post. Or essentially you're making a web page. No? So this is how you will actually create a course. So here you will see I have already preloaded content here. I have for this lesson, course outline, introduction, before you begin and all this content. Then I have module 1, module 2. So for example, I wanted to create a module. So here I just go click plus and then um, let's say I want to call this module 3, for example. Now, um, it's important that as you're creating your lesson is, di ba sinabi natin kanina, you have to prepare your lessons ahead of time. So the way you prepare your lessons ahead of time is you actually have to have them written down. Okay, so prepare nyo na siya. So meron tayong example dito na module. Let's say our topic is about digital photography. And this is the lesson. So I have it on, let's say, a notepad or word. So nagawa na natin to ahead of time. So ang gagawin na lang natin is kakopy-paste lang natin para mapilis. So for example, module 3, I'll go subsection here. I'll get this lesson 1. I will copy, control C, and then paste. Take away and then save. And then we'll add a new unit. So let's say within this unit, I want to talk about, it's a photography class, so I want to talk about the exposure triangle. So copy and then paste, exposure triangle, click, and there you have it. In, inside here, you can actually build components. So here in the text, we can insert all the text materials. And then here in the problem, we can add different kinds of problem statements. There's a checkbox, multiple choice, text input, numeric input, and advanced. There are time more advanced. There time math expressions. Meron tayong JavaScript layout, meron din tayong open response assessment or essay. So, but for now, for purposes of this uh, demo, we will just use the standard text. So, for example, 
we click here text and then we click edit and then we get our text so this is the text we have na sinulat na natin beforehand copy and then paste and then save and then now you actually have your lesson here and then we want to hide it from learners and publish so now what we want to see if we want uh, the, the students to actually see this we click here view live So, ito na yung nakikita ng estudyante, yung Module 3, Lesson 1. So, dati wala yan kanina. So, inside here, we actually have all the lessons, discussion, progress bar. So, notice that it's very simple and the structure is very easy to follow. That's good for the teachers kasi madali lang gawin yung lesson. It's good for the student kasi madali niya masundan. Okay. So, for example, we want to do something like this. So, Lesson 1, for example... Notice here, this is the Exposure Triangle lesson. We'll try to replicate how to do this. Maraming ibang klaseng content ang pwedeng ilagay. So we have text, images. There's also video. If there's a camera, syempre video yun. If there's a textbook, that's text that they have to actually read. And then if it's an assessment, pwedeng ganito. Drop down menu, true or false, and others. No? And then I can go anywhere here, previous or next. So madali lang ho siyang gamitin. So let's say I want to add a video naman. So we go back to our studio, to the course outline to actually make, uh, let's say, a lesson with video. So let's add a new unit. So let's call this, let's say, video 2. And then, as we said earlier, we have to prepare all of this ahead of time. So ito, we can insert this image. Kunyari, unahin muna natin video. So we have, let's say, a link from YouTube. You just cut, copy this, and then in the video section, click video, edit, and then it will give us the tools. So here, just replace the video link here, and then save, and then we have our video here, and then we click publish. And then view live. So makikita natin, nandito na yung video. And we can just play it. And this is what the student will see. So for example, like this. So in our previous video, I gave you a brief rundown on the... So, sana narinig yung audio niya. But uh, there's good audio that comes with that video. So you can actually do this. So now, let's say, okay, I've built my course. Nagawa ko na lang, nagawa ko na ito lahat, Roy. So how do I actually um, interact my class? So what we do is, I will show you in the, video, in, the, in the lesson, and this is very important, is as you're building your lessons, you always have the mode of instruction. Because it's important that if they go next, 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 they actually see how will you interact with them uh, as you're doing your lessons. So for example, here, we've written down all assessments will be done online to the Freeview platform. However, all activity sheets and project submissions have to be uploaded in Slack. So this, I will show you now, Slack is a useful tool that we can have so that they can actually engage with your course. So I have Slack here. So this is Slack. Okay, so if you notice here, it's a, you can use the desktop app or you can use a, you can use the browser. But here, nahati-hati ko yung groups of students going to different classes. So I have class 1, class 2, class 3, and class 4. So within this class, I can create channels. So in this channel, let's say I have only groups of, let's say, for all students in class. So if I chat here, let me just move these windows out. If I chat here, I'll say, okay, hello, class. All right. And then someone will actually be able to reply because they actually see you can enroll your students here. And once they get an alert from you or a message, para siyang Viber or Facebook Messenger na mas maganda kasi you can organize your classes this way. It's much easier to control and easier to monitor. And then, for example, I can have groups that say only boys. Or let's say I have, let's say, the science group one or science group two. And then, you can integrate a lot of tools here. So for example, 
uh, we can do, let's say, here in Activity 1. Let's say we actually have a lesson that we had in Freeju and they had to submit in the class. So if you go back to Freeju, you go to the section, and then you will see there's an assessment that needs to be done, okay? So their exercise will be, they go to the exposure tool and then type out your answers in a Word file, convert this into a PDF document and upload it to Slack. So let's say they do the exposure tool. So by the time we integrate the mga tools dito, so for example, this one, the students will then, it's like you're giving them a game to play with. All right, so ang kagandahan nito, the power of online tools is you're actually able to engage and have them do an activity. Okay, while we're waiting for that, let's assume the student has actually done the uh, activity. And then after that, if we go back to Slack, then let's say you want them to submit. So let's say, okay, I will submit. So here we have actually some examples. Let's say I was the student. I uploaded a PDF, which was the activity that uh, was requested for in the lesson. So, kaya po natin gawin yan. Madaling mag-reply and mag-submit. Last thing I want to show you is to do online video. So, for example, we're in Zoom now. So, nakikita natin, Slack has many different tools where we can actually do a um, uh, uh, live video conference integrated already from Freeju into Slack. So, for example, if you use a program called Jitsi, So this actually in creates a, a Jitsi is similar to Zoom where we create an online uh, video conference session just using Chrome browser. You know? so, so ito yung example, if I click here, then magkakaroon ng video session. Hello, yan, basta, I'm not gonna do it anymore, but you get the idea. What happens is there is actually a video session here. You allow the microphone, sige, allow natin. So, dapat nakikita na ako dito, pero doble na siya. Okay, so, alright, never mind. I'll close it now. Close, please. Okay. So, that is the power of the tools that we have on Freeju. You can integrate all these actual platforms and solutions so that you can actually build and create your online class that is very interesting. So, and then, uh, and that's how you actually will be able to engage with your students. So if I go back to my presentation, so that was Freeju. And we've been able to create an online class. Very easy, very simple, very quick. Okay? So I just want to ask now, no? Kasi nasa meeting tayo. Um, do you think it's important for teachers to be trained before they teach online? Maybe I can just uh, have a show of hands. Tignan ko lang yung mga itsura natin. Magtaas po tayo ng kamay. Sino po ang naniniwala na importante na yung teachers ay matrain before they teach online? Okay, I see Marites Lagasan raising her hand. Chari Vargas, hello. Yes, sir. Ayan. Okay, ang daming kamay na nakaraise. Salamat po lahat. Thank you very much. Ayan, si Rossini. Hello. Okay, so and then, would you like to be trained on how to teach online? Okay, taas po ng kamay kung sino yung mga gusto train. Ayan, marami rin. Okay, a lot of people raising their hands. Siyempre, exciting ito. This is actually our opportunity, ano? Dahil ngayon, uh, medyo force to good tayo kasi uh, hindi tayo pwedeng magsama-sama bilang isang classroom. Kailangan na tayong matuto ng mga panibagong skills. We really need to upskill ourselves because that is the only way we will create a good experience para sa mga estudyante natin. Kasi, uh, bago na ho ang panahon ngayon. Hindi naman natin inaasahan yung COVID, but we have to adapt, we have to learn new things, and we have to move forward. So what we have is uh, actually a introductory course for all of you who are interested to learn um, uh, the basics of creating your first online course. So, so here you will see uh, it's part of the introductory promo, actually, of Akad Asia, so that we can share with you. You can take a screenshot of this, or you can go to this uh, website here, akadasia.com slash CYFOC, which stands for Creating Your First Online Course. It's a seven-day course, 
and it was only two modules, but it's self-paced. You can take it at your own time. Basta makomplete nyo siya in seven days. And then, pag nakomplete nyo yung course, you will get free lifetime access to free Jew for one teacher. Kayo po yun. And then you can uh, enroll up to, excuse me, enroll up to 100 students and you'll have the ability to create five classes, okay? So, this is a limited time offer. Normally kasi, we offer this at 100 US dollars or roughly around 5,012 pesos. Pero ngayon, hanggang June 1, pwede niyong i-avail kasi nga, bago ang panahon ngayon, we have to adjust. Murang-mura na lang ho, $30.15 for this lesson. Okay? So again, akadasia.com slash cyfoc Create your first online course. Just go to www.akadasia.com if you want to avail of that. And then there are many ways to pay. Pwede credit card, pwede online bank transfer, GCash. Uh, you can contact me after this. Uh, I will put my uh, I will put my email in the chat so that you can actually uh, communicate with me. Let me stop sharing for a little bit. I'll put my email in the chat. So if you want to learn of uh, how to pay, kunyari, wala kayong credit card, pwede rin magbaya GCash, BPI online, or Metro Bank online. Tinatanggap natin yan. So limited time offer lang po yan. You have to come in before June 1 para maka-avail kayo ng course na yun. And from there, it's a very easy course. You will see, as I've demoed to you today, paano kayo mag-sign up and how do you actually can uh, start teaching your classes online. Okay. Um, yeah, I think uh, that basically wraps up my presentation. Tamang tama, just in time, 40 minutes, 340. We still have about 20 minutes to do Q&A. Okay, so maybe um, I can open the floor now to our question and answer. Um, if anyone has questions, uh, we can actually, what we'll do, I guess, Alan, if you can help me moderate or just uh, funnel the questions. Um, okay, so maybe we can also unmute. Okay. So, ang gawin ko po is I will unmute uh, Alan because he made me the host. In fact, maybe I can give the host back to you. I'll give Hello. the host back to you, Alan. Okay, yes, so that uh, all right. So I've given you back the host. So now um, maybe uh, we can do. Let's say people are raising their hands. So I guess maybe one by one we can do a couple of raised hands, and then you can ask your question uh, on uh, live online. Okay, pwede ring uh, pwede rin dito sa chat group. Tignan natin kung masasagot natin lahat siya. Pero may limited lang yung time natin, everybody. Pasensya na po in advance kung hindi natin masagot lahat ng mga tanong. But uh, for anybody who has any uh, clear questions, please uh, raise your hand na lang. Okay, ano, thank you very much, Roy. And uh, i just like to add, no, kasi I've, all, I've been part of this training in TEMS International School. And it's very interesting. Um, so we're, we were using uh, Roy's platform, the Free Jew. And then he also showed you some other tools that are outside of Free Jew, but it's available to, to everyone then. So Free Jew lang yung parang pinaka centralized platform natin where we can post our lessons, we can post YouTube videos, and we can even post other things like quizzes or surveys or anything actually that is available online you can also put it there para isang lugar lang siya for your students to see so and also there are other there are many ways of interacting your student uh, interacting with your students no kasi sometimes um, we imagine na baka zoom zoom lang ba we need of course we need the live interaction with the students and sometimes ang iniisip lang natin zoom and then pag ganito diba it's it's hard especially if you have 40 students all alam mo yan, in their homes in their screens it's hard to interact and try to look at each expression and and roy is is correct no we have to adjust eh Ngayon, napilitan tayo mag-adjust because of the situation but there are many ways of interacting with our students other than this face-to-face -face with Zoom. And you can use it using FreeJu or any other platform that your school might be might uh, be using. 
And this is by doing activities online together. So, hindi kailangan parang kinakausap nyo sila like this in a meeting. Pwedeng sasabihin nyo, oh, let's all be online and then let's answer these questions together during a specified time. So, yun yung, mga, yun yung benefit of uh, joining a training program kasi the teacher will will walk you through that. And uh, ako mismo, I've been uh, experiencing that. Meron kaming training kasi TEMS is also launching their online schooling. And it's interesting kasi I need to be trained also to do that. So I also have the same concerns. So Roy, um, we have a question here on chat. Uh, I wish to know the cost to have a free account in case I'm not available to attend that course you offer. So I guess if I understand this correctly, kung ano, ano yung normal, ano yung normal ano, process of getting a free Jew account. Roy, are you still there? Yan, okay. All right, now I can talk. So pasensya na, medyo na wala ako sa glit. Medyo nag-trip yung kuryente dito sa amin. So nawalan ako ng internet. Kaya, ayun, nakabalik na ako ulit. So yes, um, so thanks Alan for your question. I heard that part. Um, so, the, the at cost again, I can actually share my screen again. But uh, as I showed you a while ago, normally the create your first online course uh, is uh, normally 100 US dollars or 5,000 pesos. But for the promo up to June 1, you can avail is uh, discounted price thirty dollars or one five na lang po. So that is the cost for a single teacher, and then that includes the modules for creating your first online course, and then that will allow you to enroll up, up to a hundred students and create up to five classes. Okay, so you can go to I will chat here uh, in the in the chat room para makita nyo Akad Asia dot com slash cyfoc okay so that is actually the course that uh, is on sale now na very affordable po so one five lang you can already take your first step to be trained kasi kahit ano po mangyari ngayon whether you decide ni Dep ni Ched kung kailan yung opening of classes natin whether that is in uh, this coming June na ba or August or a staggered movement in between. Siyempre, each school, kailangan nating mag-adjust. So, maganda is ngayon ang panahon para matrain natin yung sarili natin as teachers. So, it will only take seven days. Pero kung mas mabilis kayo at mas magaling kayo, pwede naman matapos na mas maikli. No problem. And then after that, makakapag actually uh, uh, deliver na kayo na online class using FreeTube. So, Again, I will type uh, the website. And then if you need to, uh, let's say, want to purchase but you do not have a credit card, okay lang po yan. So I will uh, put my email address here and I will send you the, the payment instructions. Okay. We have a couple more questions due to the chat. Yeah, um, I think from Miss... Uh, Perfecto from Northeastern College. Does the five class cater to 100 students or each class can have 100 students each? Um, lahat lahat na po yan, ano? So, your five classes, maximum 100 students. So, that's about 20 students per class. Pero typically kasi, if you wanted to have more classes, let's say para lang sa inyo, we recommend you buy an additional license. Ang kagandahan po nito is, you don't have to pay any other fees. Yung platform ho, actually, yung technology ay libre. Ang binabayaran nyo ho is the training. Pag nakuha nyo po yung training, and then kung mas marami po yung estudyante nyo, then dagdagan nyo lang po yung mga available licenses. And then, makaka, ano, kuha na kayo sa'yo. So, if let's say, uh, Roy, hindi lang ako as a teacher para sa class ko. Gusto ko sa lahat ng school namin. So, pag kailangan yung school nyo mismo, ay magkaroon ng uh, platform para lahat ng teachers meron, makakamura sila if we talk to your school itself. And then that way, we can create a package para lahat ng teachers mabigyan para hindi na rin kayo nag-alala on the additional licenses 
for the additional students. So, kasi pwede naman yung ibang estudyante niya, 40 or 50, tapos more than 5 classes tinuturo niyo. Uh, kailangan palawakin or padamihin. Mas maganda po, if you're doing it on your own, the option is to get additional licenses. But if you are part of a school, then you can take advantage of the school um, training and school package para lahat mabigyan as many students as you need. Okay? So, mapag-uusapan ho natin yan. Paki-email lang ho ako dito ulit. I'll type my email again in the chat. And then send me if you want to your, inquire. Yeah, we will also share your email to the to the regis, uh, the registrants. Um, okay. And I uh, think, ano yun, yeah, it'll be better, lalo na if, if you're getting free due for the whole school, it'll be better to yeah. have a, a chat with Roy. Uh, there's yeah. a question here. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with this, pero from Ma'am Marites, how is free due different from Quipper? Do you know Quipper? Uh, yes. So, um, there are other different LMS available. Ano? So, Quipper, yes, the, we are aware of them. But actually, uh, all these platforms or uh, learning management systems or technology, actually they're really quite similar, all of them. They're basically allowing you to put your content online and then you can actually um, enroll students and then they can take the online lessons with you and then you can assess them to see if they passed or not. So lahat po na mga platforms, including yung iba, Google Classroom, Edmodo, Canvas, Blackboard, pare-pareho, karamihan ang mga features niyan. Nagkakaiba yung free view is one is madali kaming gamitin. If you notice in the demo a while ago, we made it as clutter-free as possible and we integrated all of the online tools. Pag si Quipper kasi kailangan talika sa kanya. Sa amin, kung masanay kayo sa ibang mga tools or you want to integrate other tools, madali po siyang i-add. Okay? Secondly, we are also um, one of the perhaps the only uh, learning management provider that includes blockchain certificates, okay? So again, usapan to with your school. But let's say, interesado kayo, normally, pag nagbigay tayo ng certificate, kunyari, yung uh, session natin ngayon, you will get it in a PDF or a JPEG format. Okay yan. And you can print it out. Ang problema niyan, alam naman ho natin, minsan, pag mapadaan ka sa recto, madali hong i-forge, madali hong gayahin o sabi-sabihin lang pati yung mga images or PDF na talagang pumasa ako dito. If you embed blockchain technology into the certificate, which is what we have at Freeju, it becomes tamper-proof. You cannot change it, you cannot forge it. So, let's say an employer or another school says, talaga pang pumasa ka sa let's say, BS degree in education. If you present your certificate with the digital blockchain tag, the school or employer can go online and they check it and verify, ay, oo nga. Si ma'am, let's say, si ma'am Maritoni or si ma'am Yuala, Yuala, pumasa talaga siya, talagang official ang kanyang degree. So, that is the second thing that differentiates So, blockchain certificates, interactive um, tools online. And again, may nakita kong isang question kanina, um, is there paying per year? Hindi po. Ang bayad po para kay Friju ay one time, that's it. Yan rin ang isang pinagkaiba. Yung ibang mga platform, every year may bayad. Sa atin po, magkuha kayo ng once ng training lang, ayun na, okay na. You have your own teacher license for life. You enroll your students, they have their free due license for life na po yan. Just to clarify, ano po, kung kukuha kayo ng bagong training, syempre, panibago hong training yon. So may panibagong training fee yun. Okay? Pero kung kayo mismo, nakapag-training na kayo that one time, you have your free due license for life na po. Okay. Uh, there's another question here and I think uh, maybe I can also restructure this. Uh, can an ebook from any source be uploaded into Freeju? And in, in a related note, kasi I noticed, kasi I've been using Freeju also, meron tayong storage, diba? You can upload pictures or you can upload yes. media in Freeju. Pero ano yung capacity nun? Yeah. So, that's a good question, Alan. Thanks for asking that. So, normally, may, like any platform, meron mga upload limits, okay? But this is why we recommend the create your first online course. 
and there is actually a companion um, advanced course there called the OLE or Designing Engaging Online Learning Experiences. Yun yung parang step two or next level. Because if you know how to design an online course properly, you will not need that much storage. So there are a lot of free tools already available online. You can link the images or the videos from YouTube into the platform. In the training programs, we teach you how to do this. You can even create your own video, upload it to YouTube, and link it into Freeju. So that way, the storage libre naman po yung mga yun at unlimited. So take advantage of all the existing online tools available. Um, another point is, in designing actual classes, the idea is not to upload the entire textbook. So let's say may ebook na kayo, existing na yan. Hindi po siya kung nare kung lahat ng text na yon ko kopyahin yun lang tapos i-upload yun don bahala na si student magpasa yun yung normal and usual na paggawa hindi po ganon kasi po mawawala ang interest ng estudiante pag ginawa natin yon kasi ang haba-haba ng text tuloy-tuloy lang silang nagbabasa don you will lose your students basically because that is not the way what do we recommend in the training that you will get, the intro training and the advanced training? You cut it into segments. You try to summarize them na outline, outline lang. If you notice the course I made kanina, napakaikli. One or two paragraphs lang at most. And one or two pictures and that's it. Why? Because given na nga, uh, we, again, we look to, the, to what I said a while ago. What is the situation of your students? Kung nasa bahay sila, may magulang sila nagtatrabaho, may mga kapatid sila na nag-aaral din. If they're, and then they're all in, let's say, one living room. Kung kailangan mong pagbasahin sila ng napakahaba, pero limited lang yung time nila para mag-access ng lesson, hindi nila matatapos yun. Okay? And this is why nagkakaroon tayo ng mga issues ngayon. So, how do we address this? We have to adjust the way we create these lessons. Yan ang tinuturo namin sa training. Kasi, Pag mas maikli at mas madaling i-aral uh, yung mga lessons, you can still achieve the learning objectives that you need to, even if maikli siya. So for example, hindi kailangan araw-araw na ganito. Araw-araw ba kailangan mag-online video call, mag-meeting? Hindi po. Tinuturo rin natin sa training yan. Paano ba yun? You will create simple, asynchronous offline classes that they can do, let's say, four days in the school week. And then on the fifth day, or whatever meeting time you decide, you only meet them for a short time. Let's say once a week lang, let's say one hour lang max per class. Yun lang. That way, kahit marami yung mga studyante nyo, ipipaste nyo siya para at least unti-unti lang yung meeting. Ang kagandahan pa nun, pag maikli lang yung in-upload yung lesson, madali siyang i-update. Kasi pag yung buong textbook nandun, ang hirap i-update ang, ang, ang haba-haba. The mode of instruction and the learning upcount should not be just memorization. Kasi nga, nasa panahon na tayo ng internet. Lahat ng karunungan, madali nang ma-access ng bata, mag-search lang siya sa Google. So what is the point of education now? And this is where we have to upgrade ourselves. Now is the time for critical thinking. How do we get the students to say, Okay, alam ko to, pero para saan ba yan? Ano yung silbi niyan? Bakit yan mahalaga? Yan ang role ng teacher. Hindi role ng teacher na, oh, na-memorize mo na ba ito? Nabasa mo na ito? I mean, kasama yun. And it, it depends on our own effort as teachers. But the more important role is, okay, student, I present to you the basic concepts. But what did you learn from it? Okay, and that is the role of the teacher. And you only need little content for that. You don't need to upload the whole thing. Okay, sorry, and, naglitan niya na ako. Sobrang haba ng sagot. Okay. Uh, it's okay. Pasensya I think this is, this is a very good ano rin, no? insight for our fellow teachers here. no. And, and Roy really is, is a good resource for this kasi ito talaga yung trabaho niya. Ito talaga yung sanay siya talaga to train uh, as teachers to, to really adapt. Lalo na sa technology. And like I said, I've been atten- I've actually attended what Roy said, no, yung yung D O L E, yung designing the, online learning. Yeah, you took the advanced training. Yeah, the next yeah. one. Yeah. Oh. The uh, CYFO is the intro. Yeah, so I I was able to attend that, and barami nga, marami tayong tools na pwedeng gamitin. Um, of course, 
we have to expect na medyo minsan nakakalula kasi ang daming ang daming pwede eh. Ang daming pwedeng gamitin. But there are it depends really on each person that there are things that will jump out at you that you think, "Oy, okay to. Okay na resource to for my students." Like and ang kagandahan dito at least sa video, you can you can directly use it. Yeah, um, and you can customize it, no? It really depends on you. So, hindi kayo natatali sa isang um, paraan lang. And actually, mahirap lang siya sa umpisa. Kasi syempre, kagaya na lahat ng bagong bagay, sa umpisa lang siya mahirap. Pero once you learn it, actually, mas madali siya for you in the long run. Kasi nagawa niyo na yung lesson. Konti lang yung content, alam niyo yung ituturo. Basta mag-respond yung mga bata sa Slack, okay na. And then you can repeat this every term, every next uh, quarter or next semester. And then if you update, madaling uh, update. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually easier for you. Hindi na puro um, memorization ng libro, hindi na. Parang, okay, ito yung mga konsepto, ano natutunan mo? In fact, ipasa nyo yung challenge sa estudyante. Oh, kayo mag-report sa akin. Nabasa nyo na ba? So, ano na yung natutunan nyo? And then, kayo as teachers, makikinig na lang kayo. I mean, Uh, in in once you go through the two trainings, like anything, we it takes a certain number of hours to master it. But once you get there, it's really easier in the long run. Okay. Thank you, Roy. Uh, And uh, I'll just have an announcement, no, uh, especially for our Facebook Live um, audience. Um, for your other questions, or if you get want to get the contact info of Roy or any other questions about this webinar. Um, just post uh, Alan, I think na wala yung audio mo. I'm not sure. Uh, hello, hello. You're back. Okay. Can you hear? Hello. Sorry, again, <laughs> kung hindi, kung ulitin ko lang. So for our Facebook Live audience, just post your questions or your email address in the Facebook Live ano, um, comment section. Or better yet, para ma-protect niyo yung privacy niyo, just send us through the messenger then. We'll also post our email address there in the Facebook Live uh, comment box so you can email us directly for your questions. Okay, hanggang June 1 lang po yung promo. Ha? So, after June 1, mahal na siya ulit. So, I suggest, if just for yourself, just for your self-enrichment, you know, self-knowledge, it's worth, if you think you as a teacher are worth the investment to learn something new, I highly recommend you take advantage of this rate kasi hindi na ho siya bababa ng ganito kababa ulit. So, and ganito na ba ang bagong normal? This is the new normal. We have to find out, okay, how do I actually deliver a mode of uh, instruction and lesson that today, uh, na hindi tayo pwedeng physically nakikita. So, um, I encourage you to take advantage of this offer. Ayun, so it's uh, 4.02. <laughs> um, thank you very much. And we'll be, ano, we'll be posting this again uh, on Facebook and also on our website, Brilliant Creations uh, Publishing .com. We'll be posting there the email address of Roy, the links that he has shared with us to date, so that you can take advantage of the promo. Um, I'm gonna share my screen this time. If you can see it. So there. So this is our Facebook page, Brilliant Creations Publishing, and our website where we will also post uh, the details of this webinar. So thank you very much. I know, Mejo, it's it's a short um, webinar, and I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Because even though I've been using Freeju now for a couple of months. Eh, I'm still discovering new ways to to really adapt and uh, structure my lessons as I go along. So, talagang ano yan? Talagang adjustment period for everyone, for us teachers. Um, and then, dun ang maganda dun sa training. Uh, I have a question, Roy, for the training. 
Yes. Um, ano rin ba? Is there is there also an opportunity to to interact with the with the trainers? Kasi nung yung sa, sa DOLE, di ba, nandun yung trainer, may scheduled live discussion. Meron din ba yun? So, yeah, ano? I actually noticed in the chat uh, the same question. So, just to clarify, you know, for the create your first online course, all right? That's the promo offer we have now. It's two modules for seven days, self-paced. So you can do it on your own. Now, there is an interaction point at the end of the course. So at what, there's a one-hour session with the trainer where you can do Q&A and ask different questions. But the idea is you actually do all the online courses yourself and then there will be a Slack group. So in the whole duration of the seven days, you can chat and ask questions in the Slack group. Uh, how do I do this? What is this about? So the two interactions are chatting in Slack and the one-hour session at the end of the course. Nice. Okay, so I encourage everyone to take advantage of this offer. I think sobrang mura nun. Um, and um, yung sa ebooks is is interesting because I know Brilliant Creations Publishing is also uh, beefing up their ebook game. So magandang combination no, to to combine everything that we've learned here and uh, the ebooks of Brilliant Creations Publishing. So just if you have any more follow up questions, um, I believe you have the email address that you. We replied to you when you registered, the you re- we replied to you with the details of this webinar. Just send us your questions there, or you can just post it on our Facebook page. So we will be sending you a form later to survey uh, how we did for this webinar, so we can improve our future webinars. Thank you very much. Uh, stay safe, guys. Wash your hands. Uh, hopefully, medyo we have cooler days ahead. And thank you very much, Roy, for for joining us today. Thank you then for having me and thank you for your patience dun sa mga slides. Pasensya na at na-brown out pa ako ng saglit. But thank you again everybody and I'm just here reach out to me and uh, we can uh, fulfill your needs. Paki take advantage po yung promo saya. All right, thank you very much. Okay. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.